Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Homemakers. We're going to be working on a really easy sun catcher project today. So in your kit you should have a suction cup. You should have one of these bases that we made on the laser cutter. You're going to have a bunch of loose jewels, some clear uh, thread, kind of looks like fishing line, and one of these longer pieces. So this longer piece is going to go in the middle. So it may be a little bit tangled from being in your bag, so you just need to figure out where the bottom is. Okay. So for me, this is what mine looks like. And this longer one, for me, I'm going to put in the middle. It kind of opens up like a keychain, um, so you're going to be looking for the piece that looks like this. It's a, about a half an inch and round, and it opens up. And that one, I put it on just like I'm putting a key on a chain. I'm going to put mine in the center. And for me, that's kind of going to determine how long. Let's see if I can adjust this. It's going to determine how long my other sides are. So you are going to need some scissors for this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my thread into four equal pieces. Alright, so I'm just cutting it in half right now. And then I'm going to cut it in half again. And they're probably not going to be exact, but that's okay because you can always trim it later. So right now they're longer than the piece in the center, so I will have to cut those down. But you just want to make sure that you at least start out with them being even. So, you'll want to figure out uh, what you want to do for your pattern. So you should have at least three to go on each of these holes. So I've got some clears and some pinks and some purples. So I'm going to make a pattern where it's clear. I'm going to use the clear and purple ones on the middle ones here and then the clear and the pink on the outside. Oops, Oops it looks like I'm missing one, but that's okay. Um, Alright, so we're going to start with this one here. And I'm just going to double knot it. Alright, so I've got this secure. I know it's really hard to see because this is clear. Um, each of these jewels, depending on which ones you got, there may be two holes or there may be one. Uh, if you've got one with one hole, you'll want to make sure that you use that one on the bottom. Otherwise, you won't be able to keep adding beads to underneath it. So for this one, I'm just going to go through one side and then down through the bottom hole. So it's looped through the two holes. So it's coming through the top and going through the bottom. And you can decide how far up you want it to go. In order to keep it in the same place though, you do want to make a knot. So I'm going to do it on the bottom. I'm just going to go back through. and then make a knot. And that is just so that stays in place. So for my next one, I'm going to do the same thing. 
I'm going to go through the top hole and out the bottom. So as you add these, you can decide how long you want it to be. I want this one on the outside to be my shortest one. So I'm going to have the beads a little bit closer together. And again, I'm just going to knot it. So that that one stays in place. And then I'm going to add my bottom one. And this will be my last one on this side. And I want them to be even, so you can you can measure it if you want them to be exact. I'm going to tie this off. I'm not going to trim anything until I'm, I'm done. But I'm just adding a knot, and I'm going to double knot the bottom one. Okay. So, here's my first one. And so the next one I do is going to be a little bit longer. So my middle, it's hard to see, but my middle piece comes down here. So I'm probably going to do the next one and have it end around there so it kind of comes down at an angle. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. just double knotting the top and I'm going to trim this because it's in that way. All right, and so for this one I think I'm going to use the clear and the purple. I do want the ones on the top to line up, and then the next two I'll have a little bit more spread out. But this is your sun catcher, so you can put them wherever you like. So I'm just remembering to tie this off here before I add my next one. So this one I want a little bit longer, so I'm just going to stretch my the whole sun catcher out so I can see where I want to put this. That's a little bit further down. I'm just tying the bottom so it stays in place. And I'll add my last crystal here. sure those are evenly spaced but it does come down lower. I just finished this one by tying off the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to trim these two. Pull that really tight. So 
I just noticed that this was kind of coming loose, so I went ahead and passed this clear wire through the loops that were already there and tied off a knot, and so it's not moving anymore. I'm going to do the same with this one. Okay, that looks better. So now I'm going to trim these. So it's hard to see with this camera angle. Um, I've got this middle one, and then I've got the two that are a little bit shorter on either side. So I've got my pattern, and I will just repeat this on the other side with these two holes. The last step will be to add your suction cup. If you have a little plastic stopper on it, you'll just need to take that off because... Um, this won't fit through this hole if you have that on there. Um, so that is ready to hang up. You'll just need to determine what side you want on the front or the back. And that is how you hang it up. Right. Thank you for joining me today. We'll have a new project next month. And I've got the summer schedule up if you want to preview those. Um, I hope you have fun with this one and I'll see you next month. <laughs>